you guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl nurse lee if you're new to my channel please hit that subscribe button if you're not new welcome back and thanks for joining again so in this video i'm going to be doing an up down hairstyle look featuring my love me hair i've had this lovely love me hair for a little bit over a year now so i'm just going to be doing this up down hairstyle look for you all to see how i achieved this up down hairstyle so I'm just cleaning the excess makeup off my forehead with alcohol. Just make sure all the makeup is gone from my forehead. And now I'm showing you guys the wig. So here's what the Love Me wig looks like. This wig has been through it. <laughs> and I'm gonna be applying this wig with my Ghost Bond glue. I'm using Ghost Bond because I want this hair to lasts on my head for a couple of days so I just want to make sure it's going to be extra secure and I'm applying the first layer all around the perimeter of my forehead away from my hair my edges this is the first layer I use my rat tail comb to press it in It in, spread it spread it throughout my perimeter making sure it's turning clear because we want it to turn clear press it in press it in with the rat tail comb waiting for it to turn clear had to fan it with my hand I didn't feel like bringing out my blow dryer. All right, so this is the second layer. Pressing it in with my rat tail comb. All right, so it's pretty much clear. I only use two layers. Some people use more. And now I have my wig. Getting ready to apply it. But first I wanted to um, use my got to be glue free spray for even more security. So spray it all around the perimeter to keep my wig extra secure. Waiting for it to dry. Air dry, air dry, fan with my hand. <laughs> now applying the wig, okay. So just making sure that it's lined up correctly and I've used this wig over and over again so the baby hairs are pretty much already in place or should I say pretty much laid now I'm pressing the wig down with my fingers press it in using my fingers you can use you can also use the comb to press it in but I just decided to use my fingers at the time. So some of the hairs were getting stuck to my face. So I have to make sure. Also to make sure the back is secure, so I pulled down the back. All right, so the hairs were becoming annoying. Press it in. Because you want to make sure it's not going anywhere trying to get these hairs out my face my goodness all right so the wig is pretty much on now I know it looks kind of poofy and crazy but we're gonna get it together now I'm just trying to figure out um, where I'm gonna part it at Trying to gauge how much of the hair I want up. All right, we're getting it together now. So I'm going to comb it because it's kind of like tangled up. So I just want it to be smooth. So I'm just combing it to make sure I'm going to 
get it to be as smooth as possible when I hold it up. And please don't come for me, guys. I know I over bleached the knots. I'm very aware that the, the knots are over bleached and I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna fix it with um, either hair dye or you can use a Sharpie, black eye pencil, just to color it in. So I'm definitely gonna correct that. Still trying to see how much of it I want to be up. I also use my Lotta Body Foam Mousse to help me smooth the hair out in the front. it a little more like I said this hair has been through a lot so I gotta make sure I get it right all right that side started lifting a little bit so that's why I'm pressing it in some more So before I actually hold the hair up, I'm going to use this, I don't know what it's called, but it's like a paper mache type of thing to like hold down your edges. You can get it at your local beauty supply store or order it off Amazon. And I just use it to tie down my edges to keep those in place since it was lifting a little. All right, so now we're gonna go back to trying to hold this part up in a ponytail. Just use a scrunchie. So I'm holding it up now. Wrap this scrunchie around a couple times. All right, so now I'm taking a little piece of the hair, just a small piece of it, that I'm gonna use to wrap around that scrunchie so that it can cover that up because we don't want that scrunchie showing at all. As you can see, this is all I'm gonna use. Just trying to gauge it to make sure it's enough for me to wrap it around. So now I'm gonna use my Gossipy Glue Free Spray and spray it down so that it creates that tight hold around it. All right, just start wrapping it around that scrunchie. Wrapping around the ponytail. My hand was getting tired at this point. Keep wrapping. Right. Towards the end, I spray a little more Got To Be Glue towards the end of the hair. Just keep wrapping all the way around till you can't wrap no more.
All right, so that's it. Hair is wrapped around. You can't see the hair tie anymore. Okay. All right, so this is what it's looking like. Just trying to make sure it's not gonna unravel. Everything is secure. Spray some more got to be glue spray because you can never have enough of it. All right, so I'm gonna take this off from around my edges. Okay, this is what the hair is looking like. That side was lifting a little still, so I just sprayed some more. Got to be glue free spray on it. I told you the Got to be glue spray will be your best friend with this hairstyle. All right, so I'm just showing you guys how it's looking. All right, so I went ahead and curled it with the curling wand off camera because I didn't like how it was looking all poofy and whatnot. So I just put some wand curls in it. And here is the final look. Just added some wand curls. The hair curled okay. Some of it wasn't too curly, but I made it work. And yeah, so this is what the final look looks like after the wand curls are done. And this is how I achieved my up-down hairstyle look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll put the link to where I purchased the hair down below in case you guys are interested in purchasing it. Don't, for hit, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.